Hello, and welcome to a very special edition of our morning meeting. Today we are celebrating Drake's birthday. I can't wait to see you for Drake's birthday party today. Today we are going to be talking about our daily calendar, our weather, and breaking news. Let's get started. You will notice that every single slide in this presentation has something special that relates to birthdays. On this slide, we can see presents. Today is Thursday. That is the day of the week. Let's watch a video about the days of the week. Story box. You can name all the days with a Cockney accent. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You can yell them all out as you jump from a high dive. Wednesday! Thursday. You can call each day by its last three letters. Day, 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 day. But you better get it straight. There's seven days a week, not eight. The Beatles song is wrong. For the record, let me state that it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, around again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Now we are going to talk about the month. The month is May. Let's watch a video about the months in the year. Story box. January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. August, September, October, November, December, and the years gone by. Months remind me of birds, sometimes the way they just fly by. One year has 12 of these little guys, you can name them if you try. So all you've got to do is lend an ear, and we'll sing those 12 months of the year. They go January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. August, September, October, November, December, and the year's gone by. October, November, December, and the years gone by. You can kiss that little year goodbye. Now we are going to talk about the date. The date is the 14th. It is the 14th day of the month. Let's watch this video. And when you hear the number 14, stop counting. All right, we are going to count together. I want you to stop counting when you hear the date. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The year is 2020. Do you see the pinata in this picture? That means that today the date is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. As you know, we can always find something to celebrate. Today we are celebrating Drake. Make sure you join us for Drake's birthday party today at 12 o'clock. Let's talk about the weather. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Today the temperature will be 61 degrees during the day and mostly sunny. At night, it will be 53 degrees and mostly cloudy. Next, we are going to read our breaking news article. While we're reading this article, I'm going to ask you some questions. When you're answering these questions, make sure you use your steps to critical thinking and problem solving. Do you remember what they are? Step one, listen to the question. Step two, listen to all of your answer choices. Step three, 
think about your choices. Step four, answer the question by choosing one of the answer choices. Let's read our current event article. The title of today's breaking news article is Wearing Masks. If you look in this picture, you can see a mom and her baby, I guess he's a toddler, and they're shopping for groceries and they're both wearing masks. We can use this picture and this title to make some inferences about what this story will be about. Let's read to find out what this story is about, this breaking news article. Will you help me read? Let's read together. World News, May 6, 2020. Wearing masks. Many people are wearing masks now. Many scientists think masks can help stop the coronavirus. The coronavirus spreads from person to person. Germs spread the coronavirus. Germs are very small. I have a question for you. Why are people wearing masks? Did you say to stop the spread of the coronavirus? That's right. Many scientists think that it may help stop the coronavirus if we wear masks. Let's keep reading. Help me read. People can spread germs when they cough, sneeze, or talk. Masks cover people's mouths and noses. Masks may help stop germs. Many people are wearing masks in public places. I have a question for you. Can you help me name three ways that people can spread germs? The first way is coughing. The second way is sneezing. The third way is talking. These are all great reasons to wear masks to stop help spread of germs. Let's answer these questions. Make sure you're using your steps to critical thinking and problem solving while you're answering these questions. Step number one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Question number one. What are many people wearing now? Are they wearing ski boots, masks, or crowns? Which one? Did you say masks? Let's check your answer and see if you're right. Masks. That is right. Many people are wearing masks. Question number two. What spread the coronavirus? Was it eggs, seeds, or germs? Which one? Did you say germs? Let's check your answer and see if you're right. Germs. That's right. Germs spread the coronavirus. Last question number three. Where are many people wearing masks? Are they wearing them in public places, at home, or in the basement? Which one? Did you say in public places? Let's check your answer. That's right! Many people are wearing masks in public places. Thank you so much for joining me for today's morning meeting. I will see you next time. Goodbye!